this is going to be uh, a more of a dry stone wall effect. Um, if you look at this one, I don't think they've got any mortar in between those bricks at all, those stones. Again, they're roughly hewn stones. Some of them resemble rectangles, but they're, they're all a mixture. And you see how they've, they've popped in little bits to fill, fill the gaps. So I'm going to have a, a go at that one for you. Um, this is the wash I put down before, okay? Um, and I'm going to use the watermarks that I've already got to make some of my stones. So it isn't going to resemble this as such because I'm going to use some of these marks here to be the dark shadows in between the stones. So having said that, let's start by making the... what I'm going to do is start by marking out some of the dark shadows. So I've just got a dirty bit of raw umber with a bit of Payne's Grey. And uh, let's have a go and get started, see what we can come up with. Oh, it's always an adventure. Okay, so let's go just take a shape round here. That'll be one, okay. So what I'm doing, I mean, in fact, it's more using the different colours, the different um, colour washes I've got, than anything else, just to get it to get it started. to a finer brush, I think that would be a bit more helpful. In fact, we'll make that like one of those round ones that they've filled in a gap with. And I'm going to split that. Because these stones are all different colours. I mean, that picture's not awfully good because my cartridge has made it a bit blue, my printing. But they're all different colours. Some of them are quite sort of yellowy, some are a bit bluey. So that's how I'm going to progress. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to do some more work off camera because otherwise you'll just be sitting here for ages watching me paint, as entertaining as I'm sure that might be. So I will return with the second section.